What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jason and I do a lot of motorcycle builds or mods. Um, in today's video, this is going to be part three of my Project Red Top, where I'm taking a 2019 all engine electronics and putting in a 2011 ZX10 complete swap. All right, so today I'm just going to go over the head and this is going to be a head disassembly i've already started on the uh, exhaust valve i want to get this out just to see how bad the seat is or if the seat's damaged or not but while i'm in here i just want to show you the finger followers and the shims and how this is different than the bucket style i'm going to go out to the shed and get you an old jet ski head and show you but essentially when they say finger follower valve train this is what they're talking about versus the bucket and I'll show you that in a minute um I don't know if you're going to be able to see but I did get the noticing that the valves are not actually in the seat straight so I'm hoping that the seats aren't damaged but I will find out when I get it out but before I continue there let me go show you what a bucket looks like okay, so here is the old bucket style bucket on the valve style underneath here's the actual shim and instead of the cam hitting the roller followers it just pushes the bucket which the springs down below there all right so this is what it looks like under the bucket this head is actually damaged i will show you what a piston looks like <laughs> head looks like when you drop a valve seat or a valve that is what you end up with. that is what you end up with this valve dropped the seat and this is the damage all right so hopefully you can see the difference between the finger followers and the buckets i'm going to go ahead and get these two bent valves out and then i'm going to continue to disassemble the head and show you what it looks like with the valves out Look at that. Think that valve's bent? <laughs> so this one's actually giving me a little problem. I might have to find something to tap it out through the seat or through the uh, seal. All right, so what better to use than a bent valve that's all you can't mess up? two bent valves. Let's take a look at the seat and see what they look like. Alright, so another thing I want to show you is just how Kawasaki ports their head before it's shipped. Intake port, and on the new ones, they started doing the exhaust port too. Which, if you feel it, it's actually pretty smooth. So, pretty smooth. Gonna take the rest of the springs out and valves. All right, so I am gonna move the finger followers. I'm gonna remove all of them and just make it easier. And I was just being lazy, trying to shortcut it. But essentially, there's a plug here. There's a plug on each side you pull out and then this rod slides. I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I can keep them in the order where they came out. It's just nice to have them. 
they should all be the same, but at least I, I want to try and put them back where I got them from. Heads disassembled. Let me show you what it looks like. All right, here are all my valves in order. I'm gonna clean those in my washers. Exhaust port, this is the damaged, had the bent valves. See the valve stems, sorry, valve seals. Retainers, keepers, springs. And let's look at how good the factory port, intake port is. There's some improvements, knife edge, but overall it looks really good.